Here's a used 2001 Tacoma engine and I have all my tools ready to perform a cylinder leak down test on this used engine to make sure that it's good before we install it in this Toyota. This test is going to ensure that during each cylinder compression stroke, it's not losing compression. So excuse the loud noise, the uh, compressor is building air pressure. What I did, I removed the spark plug in each cylinder. I also removed the valve cover to check the condition underneath. And check for sludge, any da visible damage. So here I have all four spark plugs removed. And this is a Bosch spark plug. It is not the original spark plug that comes with these engines. So at one point they have been replaced. Um, the condition looks fairly new. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but the cylinder leakage test is going to determine that. I have my air compressor. I've already built up the pressure. And I'm going to show you how to set up your tool before you perform your test in order to get an accurate reading. Here on the tester we have the regulator. This is a regulator. To adjust you pull down on it and you twist it left or right. Notice as I twist it, the needles move to the left or to the right. What you want to look for is that the gauge on the right side is set at 0%. No more, no less. Once you have it set to 0%, you want to go ahead and lock your regulator simply by just pushing it in until it clicks like that so that it doesn't turn to the left or to the right during your test and get an accurate reading. We're going to be performing this test on cylinder number three. I have a long bit in the spark plug hole to determine when it's at top dead center. The other important thing is that we have to make sure that it's top dead center compression stroke. I'm going to show you how to find that out right now. So in order to find out the compression stroke in the cylinder, I have this hose that comes with the cylinder leak down test. Very similar to the hose in the compression test, but this one has no shredder valve. So you got to make sure you're using the right hose when performing this leak down test. So I'm going to go ahead and install the hose and thread it into the spark plug hole. So now that I have the hose installed, I'm going to show you how to find the compression stroke by filling for short bursts of air out of the hose. You're going to need a tool to turn the crankshaft. I have mine right there. And once you have that, you're ready to proceed to the next step. So I have the tool there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the crankshaft. And as I turn the crankshaft, I'm going to feel for air pressure building in a cylinder out of this hose. It's going to be like short little air puffs coming out. It's going to indicate that the valves are closed and that the piston is going up and it's pushing up the air. You want to make sure that your camshaft lobes, intake and exhaust are not pushing down on the valves because that will indicate that the valves are open. So now that I noticed it's on its compression stroke, I'm going to go ahead and install this long drill bit and find out when it's top dead center. turning the crankshaft a little bit you can see the cam moving and when it reaches its highest point it's at top dead center it went down right there so I'm gonna back it out a little bit right there that's top dead center and if you look at the cam lobes you see that they are away from the valve not pushing down on it indicating that the valves are closed so now I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the air hose to perform the leak down test have the air hose installed and threaded it on. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the other side of the leak down tester. See it's properly set at zero to get the accurate readings. So now I have the air hose installed to the leak tester and you can hear an audible air leak coming out of the exhaust manifold. And you can notice as I put my hand in and out, it changes. You also wanna check your intake Make sure that there's no air coming out of there that will indicate an intake leakage. And then you also want to check your dipstick tube if you hear air coming out of there. Usually it's a compression rings or damaged cylinder walls. In this case it's related to the exhaust. I already tested all four cylinders. Um, cylinders 3 and 2 were at 80% leakage and 1 and 4 were at 60%. They were all leaking from the exhaust. Um, that indicates either bad exhaust valve, they're either bent 
uh, bad valve guide or the valves could be sticking as a rule of thumb if you want to have 0 to 20 percent leakage that's considered okay anything above that is considered excessive in this case it's over 80 percent so that's extremely bad now since this is a used engine um, it does have a 90 day warranty we haven't installed it yet so we're gonna go ahead and try to get that going try to get it warrantied out if you can please like and subscribe give me a thumbs up thanks for watching